In this session of Fiery Software Features, we're going to cover Image Enhanced Visual Editor, which is a utility to do late stage image correction right at the Fiery in command workstation for any file that comes in that have images that need to be corrected. Maybe they're overexposed, underexposed, have a cast to them, or just a poor quality. So the way we interact with Image Enhanced Visual Editor is in command workstation. We select the job we want to correct and right click it in the command workstation held queue and left click on Image Enhanced Visual Editor, which launches the application and pulls the file in by first pre flighting it and then separating out any images from vector, graphics, text, fonts, and other elements. So, as you can see, I have eight pages loaded on the left. It's an eight page file. Each page has a collection of images which have been extracted out and are available in the pane at the bottom to interact with. And on the right I have a pane that is a very Photoshop-like looking pane to adjust different levels of brightness, contrast, highlight shadows, different saturations, and even perform red-eye removal. So the way I can interact with Image Enhanced Visual Editor is my preference is to use a split screen and begin selecting images I want to interact with. So I select those on the bottom pane. I'm going to select the images here of the man and woman. And I can interact with the image in one of two ways. Automatically, with the built-in algorithm. And you can see it automatically uses that algorithm to adjust the different levels uh, for brightness, contrast, saturation in the image. I can also interact with it manually. And this gives me manual correction on different aspects of the image. You can interact with flesh tones apart from other tones, highlights and shadows in the document, or in the image I should say. And then I can choose to apply my corrections in one of three ways. If I do nothing, I, it applies it only to the image I selected, or I can apply it to all pages in the document or only specific pages in the document. For instance, all pages, all images on page one. Just like that. Other operations I can perform are red eye removal. So this is a highly underexposed image that has a lot of red eye going on in the girls' faces. I can simply turn that on and it draws rectangles and squares around items it sees as having red eye and removes those. If I have other areas I want to apply that to, I can also draw another square and it performs a red eye removal there. I can then come in and again use one of my two methods of adjustment to adjust saturation, lightness, darkness, and so forth. So if I want to apply that to all images in all pages, I can do that. And from there, you can see if I go through all the images, how they've been corrected. Once I've made my adjustments, I simply close the file that I've opened, say yes to my image changes, and then save the file with the corrections back to the command workstation held queue, where I can then go ahead and set my print options, my color settings, and my desired media. And the reflected changes will show a dramatic effect in the final printed output.